Really Tishuk, you've undoubtedly been busy. There's no doubt. There's no doubt about that. Can I just ask you a couple of questions about the health, uh, the cabinet committee on health, because you told us some considerable time ago uh, that that health cabinet health committee was going to uh, drive forward reform. Uh, a reform as identified in your own manifesto and indeed in the programme for government. Now, given that the universal health insurance process was the major plank of reform uh, that you identified, together, I suppose, with the abolition of the HSE, uh, and given that you have now abandoned the universal health insurance um, objective, and while continuing to describe the HSE as a failure, you have failed to abolish it. Can you tell us what, in fact, the Health Committee is uh, achieving? Um, and would you accept that the, ref the, the your reform programme really has been exposed as nothing more than a recipe for massive charges uh, to the public uh, and worse services in many areas of the health service? And finally, can I just ask you if you would give us the benefit of your views on Minister Varadkar's new idea uh, for health, uh, the, the idea uh, that the system should be run through health trusts uh, and that the management of the health services uh, might be privatised in circumstances where their delivery doesn't meet with uh, his uh, uh, idea of what they should be. And, and finally, um, I, I think most commentators are now seeing a situation in which the Minister for Health, who's generally regarded as a very talented member of your cabinet, and somebody who I think the public welcomed to uh, the health department, uh, someone who they expected was going to deliver radical uh, reform, uh, they now feel that the Minister for Health, rather than being a leader of reform, has in fact become a lead commentator on the health service. And are you going to be in a position, Taoiseach, to do anything about that? Deputy Adams. The comments made by Deputy uh, O'Farrell. Obviously, the, the Committee uh, on Health looks at political oversight on many of the, uh, of the um, programmes be implemented. And as I've said, uh, the long-term view is to have a single uh, universal health care system. But I have to admit that the, uh, the method by which the government were to do this, the particular model in respect of universal health insurance, is no longer accepted as being valid because it was too costly, identified there by the ESRI report. So government will not proceed with that particular model. Um, but we have, as I said in earlier questions to you, at leaders' questions in respect of primary care, community care, fair deal, um, the provision of, of facilities locally for people, followed through on that in a, in a, in a very big way overseeing the introduction of the under fives, under sixes for GP cards and over seventies, and to move on now to uh, all the, uh, all the, the uh, children under twelve of working families. Um, I'd say, Deputy Farrell, also focus on the question of uh, Healthy Ireland, the initiatives here that are being taken in, in the preventive medicine area, the activity levels, the, uh, the uh, the opportunity for so many people to live healthier lifestyles, be it, be it in respect of, of food or drink or whatever. You'll have noticed the publication of the bill only last week in respect of advertising and the damage that that can cause and the changes that are going to be made where it won't be around either schools or children or that kind of thing. And secondly then, in respect of the, um, the community primary care facilities, uh, we need obviously more investment in there and that's another reason why you have to have a continuation of the, um, of the strong recovery that's now taking place. But thirdly, and most importantly in this area, you need investment in infrastructure. And by that I mean in terms of the recruitment of nurses and doctors and non-consultant hospital doctors. I've given you figures on that today. But you also need investment in the facilities. I know Deputy Martin raised the question last week of the accident and emergency unit in Galway. And he was replied to in detail by the Minister for Health. 
obviously as part of a very major expansion of the hospital facilities in Galway um, on, the, on, the, um, on the various pieces of, of uh, equipment there. And while it's not, it's not um, as one would wish, it is part of a, a major reorganization of the facilities at that hospital. So you need, you need to have a, a strong economy to be able to drive continued investment in, um, in, that, kind of, in, that, kind of, uh, in that kind of area. Um, 